Good morning, guys! Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to AOC Commercials here in Carrick Tool in County Cork in Ireland. I'm down here today to show you all around this 20-year-old Scania 124L 400. The rigid. So guys, uh, yeah, you're going to be quite surprised at what's in the back of this truck. Let's check it out. Starting off with the exterior then on the 124L. 400 horsepower, finished here in metallic grey looking very well. All the stickers were done by Moose Design in Mallow and County Cork. He's got the light bar on the lower end of the bumper and up on the roof as well with the six spotlights. So yeah, <laughs> and the aluminium wheels. Guys, <laughs> you've not seen a rigid like this. I'm telling you now, wait until you see the way this is kitted out on the interior. Now, would you believe that this, for a 20 year old Scania rigid, the front suspension is on air. So that's quite unusual. So you can raise up the front, raise up the back if you want better ground clearance, and then you can lower it, of course. So the whole idea of these car transporting trucks, yes, that's what's in the back. There is a car in the back, but not just that. There are very nicely finished living quarters as well. So yeah, let's continue walking around. He's got the aluminium wheels. So here is where you fill it up with gas. Uh, inside he's got the gas cooker and also the central heating is operated by gas. And over here, that is your water overflow and this is where you top it up with water. So the water tank is on the inside, I'll show you that shortly. And up there you have the exhaust outlet for the boiler. So yeah, continuing to walk around. Uh, yeah, this opening here is for your leisure batteries and also a separate fuse box inside that compartment. And you see there, he has very nicely finished the bars there at the lower end of the body. Very nicely done. Now this truck did have two diesel tanks. This one has been changed to a wastewater tank. So that's very handy. So he has about 400 litre capacity uh, of diesel on this truck and the Scania Griffin there uh, by Moose Design, as I said. Uh, they actually done all the graphics on this truck in one day. One day is all it took. So great work on that. So uh, yeah, let's just hop inside. Uh, not for hire or reward, okay. And we'll do a start up. He's got the mat here as well and the finish on the door card. Uh, the bottom step is very low, very low to the ground. So uh, let's hop inside and also the seat covers and the Scania Griffin there. And very nice sign there on the back wall. Uh, he does have a double bunk here as well. But um, yeah, the, the, nice, the nice bunks are in there, guys. <laughs> we'll show you them shortly. So yeah, the old dashboard layout. Uh, you remember this from our 164L V8 480 at Rory Lynch Transport. But uh, yeah, let's just uh, start it up. <laughs> That's for the PTO, that key there, so. <laughs> There we go on the Scania six cylinder, 400 horsepower. Let me just knock off the PTO switch here. So you would turn that key on and you would just pull the lever there to operate the back door for offloading the car and our handbrake, of course. And yeah, just go down through some of the switches here. We have our white smoke limiter and here we even have headlight adjustment here. Yeah, you can adjust the beam, which is very good. Heated mirrors, cab light there and your auto exhaust brake and it even has cruise control which is quite good so yeah the gearbox there uh, simple three over three you can split all the gears and we have a range changer there and up here and you can knock it down out of the way so that's quite good three over three uh, yeah so that's basically the interior of the Scania and we have the a sunroof there and even has a CB radio. Uh, who, who uses CBs anymore guys? Comment below. Do you still use a CB? Uh, I don't. <laughs> and we have a rear reversing camera monitor and you remember the old sun blind there as well and you could slide it over and even behind me there uh, there was a little cupboard on these older Scanias so you would hang your clothing in there as well. So uh, yeah you don't see them anymore on the Scanias. 
So yeah, you can crawl through there uh, to get into the living quarters in the rear. So yeah, it's quite nicely done. And uh, yeah, as I said, only 600,000 kilometers on this truck, which is uh, quite low mileage for the year. So yeah, let's just stand back quickly and have one last look at it there before we hop into the rear. So yeah, great work done on this truck. Uh, I'll just show you some more um, features there. Well, of course, we have the battery box here and in at the back there as well. You see the way the two um, sections are connected together. So that's an accordion seal and that has to allow for movement of the cab up against the body. So yeah, the guys told me they were a while trying to find that seal, but it came in from the US. Uh, they use a lot of them over there, the accordion seal. So yeah, you can crawl through there into the rear, which is quite good. Now there used to be a winch on this truck. So this truck wasn't originally as you see it now. It was a car transporting truck, but it was reskinned and uh, reconfigured <laughs> completely uh, different to what you would have seen it before in its original state. Uh, that is where the diesel tank is. And over here you have the door there for operating the rear tailgate for dropping that. Okay, hopping inside, we've got a very nice pull down step section there, finished in checkered plate, good grip off that. And you see the ladder there. Uh, the guys were telling me they were a while trying to find a ladder to uh, climb up into the living quarters there, into the bed section. And they found it from a swimming pool. So it's very good, it's not going to rust. And you see the mirror over there. How come you can't see me in the mirror? Uh, that's because it's not a mirror, <laughs> it's another bed. So would you believe they have two five foot beds here? Look, even the sockets in the back wall. Very good for uh, charging your phones. And up here, we have another five foot bed. Very nice lighting there and the radiators all plumbed. And uh, look, a uh, very nice pull down blind. And this is the bigger bed. This is a six foot bed. And all the lighting up on top and all the cabinets. So great work done on this truck and your window out there as well. So let me spin all around here and look at the floor, <laughs> the wood floor finish. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hop down here and give you a look at uh, the kitchen area. So yeah, we have the seats there with the seat belt and as I showed you, you can climb through from the cab into the rear and we can pull down the blind there as well and all the sockets and the cabinets, even the back lighting all around the back of the cabinets and the television and the fridge, a full, full size fridge on this truck. Look, <laughs> and the freezer there as well. So uh, yeah, nice and clean. Uh, they need to stock this up and your cooker there as well, the gas cooker and your sink. And even in here, more cabinet area there as well. So yeah, I, um, you could live in this truck. <laughs> Why would you need a house? Uh, just brilliant. And let me just open up the, uh, oh yeah, there we go your toilet there and the shower uh, so yeah I really like that even the finish here uh, yeah quite nice isn't it um, yeah I uh, I would love this truck <laughs> really would so yeah I think it's time to uh, drop down the back and show you the car inside guys let's do this <laughs> And here we are guys, it's a Mark II Ford Escort. We'll get a start up on this shortly. So normally what's transported in the back of this truck is a drift car. But uh, today they're transporting the Mark II Ford Escort and it's a bit of a tight squeeze. So yeah, they're maximizing the amount of interior living quarters. So what they did is when they were building this truck, they parked the car in first and measured all around the car to maximize the living quarters. So uh, yeah, you can see the boiler there and that is your fresh water tank. And they have the three pin sockets here, but so much checkered plate 
all around the interior and down here as well and you would fold out these two sections here to roll out your car and over there those little stands you would put them underneath the section here just to stabilize it when you're driving out the car so yeah let's just uh, crawl in here and uh, great lighting as well on the interior because these guys will be doing a lot of drift car events and they would be putting their cars away at night so it's always great to have plenty of lighting so let me just uh, open up the door uh, just be careful with it there and just give you guys a look inside and the gearbox there so it's just like knocking it back one two three four <laughs> uh, like uh, Ken Lyons car the Mark II Ford Escort I showed you uh, a full tour of that uh, just click on the link up here if you want to see that video of Ken Lyons and his Mark II Ford Escort but um, uh, this one uses a 1.6 liter engine from a Toyota AE86 so uh, yeah um, quite a good engine to put in a Mark II Ford Escort and your bucket seats there as well so I've no idea how much this car weighs but you can imagine that it would be quite light and you've got your roll cage there in the back so I'd be guessing around 1200 kilos around that it's dry sump as well and uh, yeah your Toyota engine in the Ford Mark II Ford Escort so that's how it looks in the back so let's get a quick start up <laughs> car looks great with the gold wheels doesn't it 1978 so around 220 horsepower with the Toyota twin cam engine yeah we all love the Mark II okay now he's gonna do some donuts all around here no he's not guys we don't want to get thrown out of the place okay uh, yeah we just said we'd get it out just to give you guys a look whoa very clean guys isn't it very nice okay there's the proof Toyota twin cam okay in case you didn't believe me okay guys I finally got a drive in a rally car <laughs> I've been waiting for this for years <laughs> and we got the quite sequential box here just uh <laughs> <laughs> what do we get in the first? Take your foot off the clutch. Foot off the clutch? And then go back down again. Re-engage oh, okay. it. Okay. So, so yeah, it's in neutral. Back down now. Put your foot back down. Okay. And then bang it. Give it a good pull. Bang it. There you go. <laughs> the dog box, they call it, guys. You gotta dog it into gear. <laughs> okay, so I'm in first gear. If I stall it on camera now, <laughs> Graham's beside me here. Oh. Don't stall it on camera! Oh! Is the handbrake off? No, there's no handbrake, it's just that's no, the clutch. No handbrake! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it was gonna happen, boys! It was gonna happen! Just oh. keep your foot in the clutch, Sean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're still in first gear. Rev it up now, bit. Rev it up, okay. Alright, now. Okay, here we go. Scania fire engine here, P280, 2009. 
Okay, spin around again. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's my fun, guys, I'm afraid. I see, I see a red button. There's a red button, can I press it? It's uh, there's a red button here. I'm, I'm dying to press it. I have to press it. Start it up. Whoa. Oh yeah! That's not just power, guys. That's Toyota power. In a Ford. Okay, I'm back inside the truck. We're gonna put the Mark II in the back. And that's the inverter as well. And this little door here is for the toilet. Just for uh, plumbing the toilet. So yeah, let me hop back outside here and we'll get a shot of it driving back in. guys it sounds like a twin cam yes yes we know we know and up here as well right uh, they would carry tires so you fit about eight tires up here and they also fit another bar over here and you can carry even more tires at their drift car events so yeah I really enjoyed looking around this truck and AOC have their own truck here as well it's a 2002 Scania 164L V8 480 so the very same truck as we have at Rory Lynch Transport, only this one's a year older. So yeah, he's got the big exhaust here on the driver's side. Uh, the two diesel tanks and the fifth wheel there is sitting a bit low compared to the rear mud guards. And they also have the light bars there all around the front. But it's a very clean truck for the year. 18 years of age. They also upgraded the headlights as well. Uh, you'll remember the <laughs> wipers there on the headlights. Uh, you, you don't see them on Scania's anymore. Uh, it's just a little blowout and jet of water that comes out from the bumper. But yeah, that is a very clean example. So yeah, let me just uh, walk over here. Uh, sorry, there's going to be rain getting on the lens now. So we've got a G-Series and we also have two P-Series Scania's here. So these two are waiting for bodies to be put on. So this one will be a tipper at some point. And this one could be a tipper or maybe just a rigid uh, box body put on the back, curtain cider, who knows. And you've got your tractor unit there with the two fire extinguishers at the back. So yeah, let's just walk around the front and give you a look at this. Uh, that is the day cab and this is obviously the sleeper cab. So yeah, we have the P320 there in the middle. And to the left we have a P450. And over there, a G450. So yeah, just three brand new Scanias outside AOC getting ready to be collected. But yeah, this 124L400. I seen this truck about a year ago and I really had to come back and uh, do a video on it. Because very impressive, uh, the fit and finish of this truck. Really like it. And there we are guys, a look around the 20 year old Scania 124L, 400 horsepower. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I do hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. Until then, take care guys. Cheers! <laughs> it's not going into neutral. Hang on. No. <laughs> It won't go into neutral, guys, watch. <laughs> there we go, okay? I'm trying to get it into neutral. I have my foot pressed in the clutch. <laughs> it's not going into neutral.